Okay, so 40, well, 44%, this is a statistic I looked up this morning, 44% of Christians, proclaimed Christians, don't vote. They estimated it's more than 40 million people who could vote, 40 million, and don't vote. And then they cry when the babies are massacred, and they're sad when wickedness comes into every school district from the government, funded by the government, forced by the government. There is a couple of scriptures, but some people say, well, I don't want to vote. I don't want to vote. I would like to know why. Who knows what Romans 13 says? You got it up there? Who knows what Romans 13 says? I bet you do. What's it say? Who knows what our form of government is? Who is the authority in the United States of America? Who is the authority appointed by God for the doing of good, for the stopping of evil? Who is the appointed authority? You are. It is not the president, it is not the senator, it's not the congressman, it's not the governor, it's not the judge. You are. Our forefathers put in the Constitution that right. It belongs to the people and for the people and by the people. Romans 13 has told you that you have been appointed by God. You are the authority of this country. So everything that happens in this country is actually your responsibility. It's actually yours. You can't say I'm going to hide my head because the authority has been given to you. Jesus said in Matthew 5 that you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? If we are not influencing everybody around us towards Christianity and righteousness, what's the use of being here? You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. You don't light a lamp and put it under a basket. You don't choose not to be engaged. You put that light on a lampstand so that people can see in the house. Let your light shine. I firmly believe you bear the full and complete responsibility from God to vote because you're the authority. You are. How is it people don't vote? They just don't think it makes a difference. Some statistic that that if we just actually had the church, the churches, the Christians vote, we would have won every election conservatively over the last 20 years. It was such a narrow, there's such a narrow margin of differences between wicked and godly, or at least wicked and conservative. Unbelievable. Psalm 82 says, God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. That's a confusing verse. The word there is Elohim, which means mighty ones. So just put in mighty ones. He's talking to the rulers. God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among, I'll just say rulers, the mighty ones. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Is that occurring right now? Right now. Who's doing it? The mighty ones. Right? We are literally forcing people. They, they threw out an entire girls sports team because a transsexual was changing in their locker room and they said no so they kept the transsexual threw the women out okay i can i can get really worked up how long are you just going to ignore the wicked here's your responsibility psalm 82 3 this is your responsibility this is to you you're the authority of the united states of america what's your responsibility You are to defend the poor and the fatherless. You are. Go ahead to the next one. You are to do justice to the afflicted and the needy. You are. Verse 4. Deliver the poor. Deliver the needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked. That's your call, your responsibility. Proverbs 14, 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. We have the opportunity this year to vote. We, for the first time since Victor Atia, we could have a Republican governor. Now, that's not going to change the state's heart. But do you know what's happening in our schools? Do you know who the head of the schools 
is in the state of Oregon, who is literally the voice behind shoving transsexual immorality, homosexuality into the schools. You know who it is? It's the governor. We could actually elect a governor who's a Republican, a conservative. Now, where's she at with Jesus? I don't really know the answer, but I do know where uh, the others are, and they are for killing children. 